Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day and I love your smile. I love yours. Great. Thank you. We've been talking a lot on prostate cancer and Donald Trump, he is the President of the United States, of course. Now how could he prevent himself from getting prostate cancer? Arlene, you got a beautiful question and he's a great man. He's our president. You know, I wrote a book on him called The Prescription for Condition Unconsciousness. He was conscious. Conscious means is a different degree. He was conscious enough that he wanted to become a president. So at that time he stays conscious, but after that he becomes conscious more than the other people, other candidates, and he was more conscious than the media. So he could go and say what he wanted to say and adjust the way he wanted. So that consciousness which he used to win it was great. But once he became a president, he's still doing the same thing. Because he was not really consciousness. It was not really 100% consciousness. He was maybe 5 to 10% and maybe another, another 10% and maybe 15%. You got it? Yes. So 80 to 85%, he's unconscious. The question is, can he get a prostate cancer? Of course he can. Can he prevent it? Yes, he can. There is no question about it. The question is this is, why a person get a prostate cancer? Is the person is inviting that cancer? Or the cancer wants to go in that somebody's body? And that is all because of the conditioned unconsciousness of that person because they are not conscious of their body. They are not conscious of, conscious of their life because they are basically 90 to 95 percent living their life, everyday life, unconsciously. They are sleeping, but they think they are awake. They, have, they think they are awake because they are very skinny. If what we call a transparent mirror is there in front of each one of them, and they think they are awake, but they can't see that mirror. But they are literally sleeping, daydreaming, self-hypnosis, self-remembering, self-guiding, self-talking, daydreaming. And that's what each individual is doing it. They are dreaming their own God. They are they're dreaming their own, what you call, a happiness. But they are really not happy. And that is one reason that you can avoid the cancer yourself. Once you become a conscious of yourself, conscious of your life itself, which is vibrating and pulsating at a cellular level, you can stop any disease. You go back to the jungles, Amazon jungles. Does anybody have a disease? No, because they're living with the law of nature. They are conscious. We are the only one who are living against the law of nature. To become a conscious, you really have to become what we call no mind. That means you have to become a watcher because as you keep on becoming conscious and conscious then you realize yourself who you are and then you really realize who you are it is not your identity it is not your intellectual mind and there is something inside of you and that is the consciousness that is your soul. That is your spirit. You may call it anything you want. I call it consciousness. But you have to become first a watcher. As you keep on becoming watcher and watching that, pretty soon you become totally conscious. And then that watcher, that your mind can descend and you can literally become what we call an inner awareness. That means you have a direct connection with your consciousness to the whole existence. You have a self-charging battery which each one of us has. But unfortunately, each one of us is trapped with this mind. And that's why we have a diseased mind. A mind which is already 
what we call pathological only mind which is a physiological is a 5 to 10 percent 90 to 95 percent mind is a psychologically and pathologically sick and that is why we have a problem the question comes how can we clear this mind that is to learn how to live what we call unconditional consciousness it's a total scientific way to learn that now this morning I was watching CNN and the doctor who is Donald Trump's physician he says Donald Trump is super intelligent and uh, his doctors came and he said that he's a super intelligent person well his doctor is also sleeping and Donald Trump is also sleeping they basically have a little more consciousness at that time what you call maybe maybe 50% goes but then it goes back to again because they are not conscious 24 times 24 hours a day that's a different kind of consciousness I'm talking about because if you take the mind your name is sitting in your mind called the subjective your body which you feel it it is objective but there is another thing beyond than that that is your spirit that is a consciousness because inside your body the heart is pumping you are breathing the kidneys are doing their job the liver is doing their job spleen lymphatic system red blood cell white blood cell T cells they all doing their job unconditionally and you start thinking who is doing that that is called the unconditional consciousness and they are basically what we call auto hypnosis they are not they're never going to be there because it is it is a different kind of science which they have to learn I realized myself I came to this country in 1967 as a medical doctor I practiced I practically done everything you name it on this human body and dealing with the prostate cancer which all mean you all see read that right in 90 anyhow, I used to do prostate surgery and when my I got involved in this program after my father who whose aortic wall was replaced and I stopped doing that and that's where I started realizing myself why this prostate gland is getting a cancer or why this prostate gland is getting enlarged the anatomy the physiology the biology the morphology is so intricate and complex there which nobody understand that we thought we knew and I start the program and I can tell you in 90 days their acid phosphatase became normal that is related to prostate cancer and the prostate enlargement completely disappeared and not only that they become sexually active later on 1986 I gave up my license due to all the paraphernalias whatever happened and now it is gone from 86 you can imagine more than 30 years and I look at myself back and I start my father was living with me my mother was eventually they died I start traveling to India especially New Delhi where I was born and raised and I tell you it took me 30 years to literally become a yogi that's my father wanted me to become a yogi and now I understand that why we are inviting the disease in our body why we are getting attached to that disease in our body if this body knows how to get attachment this body also knows how to get attachment because everything we got attached because of over what we call conditioned unconsciousness it's a so deep subject it's very very difficult for a human being to understand it they learn it on a very superficial level your book cannot teach you Indian history goes back 10,000 years ago they were yogis 
and these yogis were living outside their body my father was living outside his body and I tell you when I was in practice I used to come home and I see my father lying down in his prayer room I felt his pulse the pulse is not there and I was I don't know what was that but anyhow he could not teach me how to become a yogi but he wanted me to become a yogi oh this is a totally a different science and it has been there in the East, but it is completely gone from there. Now they have become completely westernized like a United States and they are destroying themselves. They think they are all awake, but they are all sleeping. Even Dr. Sanjay Gupta came today on CNN. Beautiful soul. And they are all beautiful people. They think they are all normal. They are all normal, no question about it because they are accepted in the society because the whole society is sleeping so they want to be part of it and Sanjay Gupta was telling about the this doctor and related to Donald Trump and he's doing his best but Sanjay Gupta is also sleeping it's very unfortunate because I now realize myself where I was I was sleeping too and I don't, I don't want you to think that I am can get there because nobody can 100% get there. Since I have got what I got now and what I am talking to you is totally in the present. That's all it is. Life is only in the present. What is here, that's what is going to happen the next second. If I am happy, that next second will be happy and so on. But we have forgotten. Our mind can never be in the present. It's always in the past and the future. The mind, which we are thinking, that intellectual mind, and that's what's happening. Everybody is dissecting. Everything they are dissecting. Same thing, a person who gets a prostate cancer, and the doctor wants to dissect it, take out his prostate gland, God bless. You know, he is doing all things against the law of nature. And I tell you, it is all because of money. There is nothing more than that. There is a dollar sign. And really I feel that now, this prostate cancer can be completely stopped. And not only that, whosoever has it, they need to become conscious of themselves before they get trapped in this paraphernalia maybe robotic surgery or in the radiation or any other gimmick they need to start become conscious and I can tell you now we will be putting a program where we can teach people how to become totally what you call unconditional consciousness get back to what we call totally conscious so they can detach that cancer from their body they can heal themselves. Of course, we will work with the doctor. Yes. Because that is the most important part. Otherwise, they're going to get scared. But we will work with the doctor. Because I am only a facilitator. I am only a teacher. But I can assure you, you can literally see that happen in yourself. Because body is so intricate. And I tell you, when Moses the Ten Commandments, he first saw. When Jesus Christ came, you know the people came to Mary that the awakened is born, going to is born. And it was true because they really looked it, they really saw it. And I can really see that and if person can learn himself who has this cancer, they have a power to heal themselves. I thank you all of you. You all have a good day. God bless. Namaste. Amen.